Hello, uh, I'm going to try and make this a very quick update video, um, more of a, a question video. So I had made an update video in the past, um, I think it was like a month ago, about some things I wanted to do, but I've come to the realization that a lot of the things I want to do require a substantial subscriber base. They, they require a regular and substantial subscriber base interest in the content to make worth producing like I, I like doing live streams but YouTube isn't really set up for people just randomly finding your live streams so they're almost pointless um, it's just kind of pointless for me to be streaming WoW all day for example this isn't Twitch this isn't that kind of platform that people are just gonna wander onto your channel because you're, you're playing something that they want to see um, one solution is for me to to go and jump on DLive um, that's about the only other streaming platform I'm aware of that might be able to uh, to accommodate what I want to do. I don't really have any interest in going back to Twitch. Uh, Twitch's policies are extremely toxic, and I don't like it. Um, I'm trying to avoid supporting companies that are really doing egregious things. YouTube has their issues, obviously, but Twitch, I think, is far more hostile and far more aggressive and far more uh, surprisingly um, far less transparent about the rules and uh, they're not very consistent and they they seem to make a lot of policies heck look at the the recent thing about them doing the the whole Wimix thing and then them getting that that super backlash over that and having to, to take that back like they're, they're a, twitch is a company full of kids it is what it feels like. They're, they're a bunch of, of little kids that don't understand how the rest of the world works. Like, they live in such a small bubble that they don't get that normal people just don't give a crap about most of the stuff they're trying to push. And they're more than happy to support very toxic people who, who are full of hate. Um... So it's a, it's a platform I'm going to, to stay away from. YouTube, yes, YouTube has its problems. YouTube is guilty of a lot of these things too, but not not to that degree. I, I think in a lot of ways YouTube is trying to almost balance the line, and sometimes they, they go over it um, too much in response to certain things, which is why you see a lot of political commentary, especially on the right, to get, uh, get censored because... They they fear the backlash. I don't I don't know if necessarily that YouTube disagrees with some of the sentiments of these people that they they ban. They just don't want an outrage mob to cancel them, or or, or to hurt their platform or, or hurt the bottom line or whatever. So YouTube I can tolerate. They, they they again they they haven't done anything lately super egregious to warrant abandoning them. Um, and they seem to be aware that they cross that line a bit more than Twitch. Twitch just seems to be ignorant about the lines they cross. And they seem to play a lot of favoritism with their, their content creators um, in regards to who can, who can break what rules. And it's just inconsistent. I don't like it. So I'm considering DLive. But as for YouTube, right now the only stuff I'm pretty much doing is my weekly Pathfinder games now. Um... I was streaming the raids for a bit, but I'm going to be quite honest. Um, our raids are not good content. Um, they're fun. Uh, and they're fun because of the people. They're, they're fun because I actually enjoy playing with the people I'm playing with. And the banter is, is, is enjoyable. Um, helping people who, who need the help to get some extra gear... Or, or or just want to enjoy the content like that's that's fun I enjoy that that I, I enjoy doing that content but it's not entertaining for people nobody wants to see us wipe on generals ten times because some random person that we had to bring in as a pug screwed up for the the billionth time on something that is a mechanic that nobody should be screwing up uh, if we had like a solid group every week that was just our guild and we could um, continue to fix the the flaws in the group, which we pretty much do. Like it, Whenever we wipe, it's usually not our people. Our people. Uh, it's usually not the people in the, in the group regularly. 
that cause it. Now, I have switched guilds recently. Um, mostly due to content access. Uh, at least the hopes for content access. Because the guild I'm in right now, we've had a lot of people, or guild I was in, um, just have a lot of people leaving all the time. So we're getting to the point now where we don't really have a core set of people anymore. So it's harder to do content. And when it comes to um, pushing things like Mythic Plus, there's not a whole lot of people left who can do um, that high-end content. And a lot of the people who can kind of keep to themselves. So I'm still working with that guild and the people in that guild to get th those people up and those people geared and experienced as much as I can uh, so that they can get to the point where not only can they help me get those those top angles, but also they can get those top angles. But at the same time, I joined another guild that at least before I joined, I was told um, are more active in that regard, but I haven't seen it so much. A lot of that's my fault, though. I'm not putting myself out there enough, which isn't abnormal. I have struggled, I, I, as, as funny as as much as I can talk to a camera, I struggle putting myself out there now, which, yeah, this is not what this video is about, so, um, I don't know if I'm going to stick around with them, uh, long term, like, I might not even last out next week, I, I'm giving them kind of a trial run right now, and if it doesn't work out, I'll just go back to the guild I was in and just keep doing what I was doing, trying to, 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 prop other people up so that eventually we can run those th that content that I want to achieve. Um, which again, the, the reason why leaving the guild I was in isn't a big deal for me is because I'm not, I never intended on stopping helping the, those people. Um, I look as if I have the ability to get myself ahead with another guild, that will assist me in helping the guild I was in as well. It's kind of a split loyalties thing, I guess, in, in some people's regard, but it's not actually requiring that. I'm still raiding with, with the uh, my last guild, um, and I'm going to be raiding with this new guild. I'm still running keys with both guilds, mostly. So it, it's kind of a best of both worlds. It's kind of just giving me, hopefully, an increased pool of people. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see long-term how that works out. So it comes down, I'm already almost 10 minutes in, and, and now to my point. Um, I'm not sure what kind of content to make. Um, live streams don't work to bring in new people to the channel. So the only thing I can think of is guide-based content. And really, when it comes to WoW, I'm not the type of person to to come to. I'm, I'm still learning myself. I'm still trying to figure out my own things. Um, I just finished changing a good portion of my builds for everything. Um... And I'm testing them out to see what I like and, and see if I, I do see tangible improvements. And I am, I am seeing tangible improvements um, in a lot of ways. I might make a video covering what I'm doing now at some point. Um, once I'm comfortable with what I'm doing and I'm convinced that what I'm doing is an improvement to what I was doing in the past. But I'm still not the guy, right guys person. I don't do, I don't edit my videos. I talk off the cuff. I talk, I don't make a script. Um... I might make notes and stuff, but that type of stuff really isn't, yeah, really isn't my thing for the most part. Um, the only other thing I think of is Pathfinder guides, guides on, on character builds or character ideas or um, things that I found that works in my campaigns and stuff like that. But I don't know how much of an audience I can get for Pathfinder First Edition at this point, like what hasn't been said by other people. Do I have anything to add um, in that regard. So I'm not quite sure what to start doing. I, I'm not really a let's play person either. Um, I tend to get into my games and kind of go silent. Like I, I want to experience the games as well, not just talk. I, I need to have other people to continue the banter. That's the same thing with me when running Mythic Pluses in, in WoW. If I don't have another person in, in the Discord with me while I'm running it, I just, I don't enjoy running it anymore. So it's very obvious, as much as I enjoy playing the content, the social interaction is far, far more important to me 
than the game itself. Um, and that's with my live streams, that's always been the case too. My best live streams have always been the ones where I have another person playing with me and bantering over over Discord. Um, all of my back in the day, I, I played a lot of Payday 2. And uh, I actually managed to amass a pretty decent follower base for what I was doing. Um, even got partnered at one point with, not partnered, but affiliated with Twitch solely because of Payday 2. And most of my, my most popular streams, most of my most active streams involve me with at least one other person running content. Um, and unfortunately, I just, I just don't have those types of people right now that are interested in the same games I'm interested in. Um, on the schedule that I have in order to to create that kind of content because I am boring by myself I go on long rants like I am right now um, So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll put this question out there. Is there any kind of content that You would be interested in is there any kind of takes you've been interested in, in, in from me um, Anything that you, you'd want somebody who has a lot of free time to maybe look into to research to kind of amalgamate even other people's ideas into more of a consolidated uh, thing. I can, I, I could actually do that. That's easy for me doing research and stuff. Um, I don't know, just put out there, see if anybody has any ideas. Because really, the only ideas I have is just talking about the things I know. But I don't necessarily think that's going to bring new people in. I might still do it. Um, I, I, I'm contemplating making a pathfinder oracle guide for pretty much what has become my my default um npc build that may actually become my default pc build when i play in campaigns um covering everything from classes to spells to everything um because oracle is like the number one class i play uh i always end up being the healer and really there's no other healer i enjoy playing other than the oracle so I might make one of those and see if that gets any traction. Um, I might even make a video about all my different uh, Paladin specs just to to have something out there. Um, yeah, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, uh, any, anything like that, any content at all, um, as you can see by my 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 wall, my my bookshelves behind me, I'm a big nerd. Like the top shelf is figures from things. Including like Dungeons and Dragons, uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Warframe. Um, there's actually a uh, Rifter up there from Eve Online. There's a Coal Battleship from Sins of a Solar Empire. Like the next level downs, like on this side is all Pathfinder first and second edition. Like this stuff right here is all second edition Pathfinder. The rest is all first edition. Over on this side is literally like all Pathfinder or D and D Second Edition. Um, all this stuff is like War, um, Mech Warrior, and other random uh, settings I played. Down here is just random stuff, uh, DVD, movies, um, pop cap stuff that I like. Like I've got some X Men one. I've got some uh, Game of Thrones. Then over here is all 4th edition D&D &D, um, and 5th edition D&D. &D. And then some other random books here, different guides. Like this is World of Warcraft, uh, collectible card game. I got the Dragon Age pen and paper, um, Wheel of Time pen and paper. That's my Wolverine, not Wolverine, my, yeah, I think it's X-Men. Um, yes, yeah, one of the, the series for X-Men is just a bunch of comics amalgamated to tell a story. Um, let's see, down here is Descent 2nd Edition, and then basically from here all the way down here is all Magic the Gathering cards, uh, which I don't really have anybody play with so much anymore, I need to actually go with it, and then down below, one level even lower, is um, most of my, my 2nd Edition Descent, because I love Descent. Descent is amazing. I just wish I had the people around who actually play it, but welcome to COVID. And more magic stuff. And then way above, above actually all this is another bookshelf, essentially, which is nothing but board games. Um, 
like fantasy board games and, and stuff like that. So I'm a big nerd, but I just don't know what to talk about <laughs> other than just like rambling on, which is what I do best. Um, I'm going to end that here. Um, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you have any kind of th suggestions or anything you're curious about, I don't know. Uh, let me know. I'm going to try to come up with more more ideas and, and stuff like that. Um, one of my biggest limitations, though, is always going to be that I don't do editing. I, I should probably learn how to, but it's not something that interests me. I like making content. I like talking and rambling and giving my ideas, but I'm not really good at the whole editing thing. And I prefer talking off the cuff than doing scripted. Um, yeah, I go into long rants, but just who I am. So yeah, um, again, thank you very much for watching. Um, feel free to comment down below anything, any thoughts or whatever of your own. And uh, have yourself uh, a good day. Goodbye. If I could click the button.